I have always wished to find a method which can help me identify fake honey from a natural honey because I use honey a lot. So I bought two types of sugars, white sugar and brown sugar, and put this in two different containers. Each container contained 500 grams of the sugars, and I added equal amounts of water and closed these two containers tightly. After I did this, I transferred them to a cooking pot just so as to ensure that I don't burn the sugar and that they cook evenly. And so the two containers were heated until saturation was achieved. A saturated solution is a solution which cannot dissolve any more of the solute and in this case it was sugar was visible at the bottom of the containers. At this point, it was very important to use some lemon in order to convert the saturated solution into a syrup. And so, half a lemon for each container was used. And both the containers were heated once more for around 15 minutes for the conversion to take place. All the sugar had dissolved and on the, on the top of the liquids were small air bubbles to see. At least it was more visible on the brown liquid than on the white liquid. We let this to cool for some time before we tested for the viscosity. By testing for the viscosity, we realized that both the liquids were still very dilute and so we had to add more sugar into the containers to enable us to get a thicker syrup. After doing so, we let this also to cool for some time and you can also see that the levels of the syrups in the containers had also risen a bit due to the amount of sugar we had added. We had now achieved the right thickness we needed, which corresponds to the thickness of honey. In the next step, we transferred a small amount of the brown syrup into a smaller container because we wanted to check, we wanted to compare the color of the brown syrup and the color of natural honey. We realized that honey was somehow lighter in color and our brown syrup was somehow darker. But this is not an indication of anything because in the grocery store we also realized that some natural honeys had darker colors like our brown syrup. So we tried to dilute the color of the brown syrup by adding more white syrup to it and checking the color once more against the color of the natural honey. By adding one third of the brown honey and two thirds of the white syrup, we had achieved the right color of the natural honey. But this wasn't enough. We went a step further and free froze all the syrups in the freezer for 24 hours. And later on, turned on the bottles upside down to check for viscosity. Because in some somewhere, it was written that molasses has a very, very, very low viscosity. And there you go. You can see that the bottle to the right, which is mainly brown syrup, started flowing faster compared to all 
other syrups. This was followed by the fake honey which we made, which was a combination of the brown syrup and the white syrup. And next on the line was the white syrup, which began to deform gradually. This took a while, but just to compare the natural honey and all the other syrups, we could see that the natural honey, which does not contain any molasses, held its, um, its structure for a long time. Thanks for watching.